Hello everyone. So today the tutorial is going to be about the justice bass and I'm talking about this distorted bass, not their slap bass. Um the I've been holding on to this tutorial for a while. I was actually thinking about not releasing this tutorial and just sticking it in the refill, but I've gotten so many requests for the justice bass that I decided to make the tutorial. So let's start off. First, you are going to need to open up a uh, new uh, Reason document a, with a mixer, hopefully, and uh, a mastering suite would be nice if you could throw that on dance. That would be awesome. All right, so first thing you need to do is create a combinator. So right-click anywhere or go to your Create menu and click Combinator. Now, inside the combinator, you are going to want to create a Thor polysonic synthesizer so you can do that by just right clicking anywhere on the combinator and it'll be inside and if it doesn't go inside then make sure you right click inside this box and it'll open up inside there um, so the only thing we're gonna do up here is change this synthesizer from a polyphonic to a mono retrig um, yeah that's about it uh, we're gonna show programmer alright so this is a three oscillator synth so select one two and three make sure those are all lit up our first oscillator is going to be a multi-oscillator and bring the octave down to three. Second will be uh, another multi-oscillator and bring the octave down to two. And lastly, the third oscillator will be an analog and bring that down to two. That's all you got to do for that. Uh, next step is to go over to our mixer, just boost the, th the third oscillator up a little bit. That's going to make the third one really come out go over to our frequency and our low pass ladder filter and bring it to all the way to the to the top to 21.6 and bring the resonance up to about 24 uh... yep the only other thing we're gonna do in here is we are going to uh... bring the sustain up in the amp envelope and there you have it that is the synth now to get to the good part is the distortion the synth has bass and it has a lot of grit to it as well so what you need to do is right click anywhere on the Thor and click create and then create a scream for distortion it will look like this and the distortion I used on it was the tube setting right about here um, I took the contour which is parameter one and I boosted it almost all the way to the top I'd say about one by one twelve right there and then the second parameter which is our bias I moved up to around 2 to 103. So they that's what that's what it should look like. Bring the damage up to around 80. And then we we are going to select cut and we're going to use this as a little EQ. You can definitely I highly recommend you going on and EQing this synth further. Uh but you can do that on your own time. The the settings I'm going to show you for this EQ is to bring the low up to around 18 bring the mid up to around 29 and bring the high up to around 40 so it looks kinda like a diag diagonal maybe boost the low up to about 20 or even higher actually you want the lows to come through but you want it to look somewhat like a diagonal coming up uh... let me just do a little test that sounds right to me so this synth is uh... is a really really thick synth so uh... I actually put two compressors on it when I did the side chaining because it just was not coming through with the side chain. Uh, so yeah, I would I also maybe add a maximizer. Um, why don't we do that right now? So right click again, go to your create menu, and select maximizer. There we go. Um, and uh, do four millisecond look ahead, soften the clip and you can boost up that gain a little bit uh... that'll that'll bring up the levels a little bit but basically put a lot of compression on this uh... yeah and use the drums use look at the tutorial i made about justice drums and add that to this to really get that french sound um, yeah so i hope that this helps out it's a pretty cool synth um, yeah have a good day